G'day YouTube, 1MJ here and welcome back. Alright, market's still kind of hovering around that $1.6 uh, trillion dollar mark. It's been a little bit lower, it's been a little bit higher. Well, I don't think it's been under 1. Uh, yeah, I think it did. I think it just dipped down into 1.5s. Now look, Bitcoin has had a good rebound, which is nice. But again, as I've sort of explained yesterday, is this going to be a bit a relief rally or is it just going to be more of a dead cat bounce? That's really what we're looking for at the moment. Hence why, look, number one, I'm never going to offer you financial advice. You have to make your own decisions about what you're going to do. I'm just letting you know that, again, I've been buying the dip, but I'm just not going full on and going, well, this is the bottom, so I'm all in here. Well, no, this is the bottom, I'm all in here. I just constantly set in small buy orders at price levels that look like where it might go and we'll get to that very shortly but bitcoin dominance risen back above 40 percent if we are in a bear market this is going to go really high and unfortunately your altcoin positions are going to get i mean they've already been brutalized some of them are down 70 percent. but the scary thing is they can still go a lot further things you're buying for five dollars could go down to five cents that is just the truth of it they can really really get damaged i don't know where we are exactly i still am you know hopeful that we're still in a bull market just having a good correction but i am also again i have my plan b for and <laughs> not that plan b but i have my plan b for all right what happens if we are in a bear market what am i doing so we'll get to uh, the chart shortly but there was some big volume though like volume has come in it's being bought but while other people are dumping bitcoin price surged up to 36,000 it got right down to $33,000 ladies and gentlemen ladies and gentlemen so that's nice but does that mean is this the relief rally or is it just a dead cat bounce that's what I'm slightly worried about and gas prices hovering around sort of $7 so they go up and down a little bit all right Bitcoin's done all right, so up 1.7%, so that's nice. What else has done okay in the last 24 hours, in the top 100? So we can see Adam had a nice bounce, Maker had a nice bounce, Loopring had a nice bounce. But again, ladies and gentlemen, we've seen this for quite some time. You see the volume come in and things get pumped up, but then they just eventually dump down lower. So again, be very, very careful, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know where we're at. I am hopeful that we have found a bottom, but I'm not sold that we have found a bottom. So that's what I'd like you to keep in mind. And again, none of what I say is financial advice. I don't know where the top is. I thought, you know, I thought 100,000 was possible, probably not because too many people were picking it. I really thought more kind of around 80 or 90,000. We got to about 70,000, so even I was off. And, you know, other people were saying that they thought 60,000 was the top and we got to 69. So it just goes to show you, no one ever really picks the tops or the bottoms. It's always just a guess. Hopefully an educated guess. And some people are going to be more educated and more right than others. And <laughs> then others won't. But look, we've got some small gains there and you're going to take them. But will they hold will they last that really is the million dollar question if not more the trillion dollar question uh considering bitcoin is now under a trillion dollars uh, in its market cap all right what got hit the worst then in the top 100 all right poker network sheeb i mean just you know did so well and look now where it is it's really gotten damaged and this is what happens to altcoins in general ladies and gentlemen and look even i've been burnt on some altcoins but you know i'm not too worried the coins that have done really well for me have done really well and they've made up for any losses i have i even i know i'm not going to get them all right i've got some wrong and i will get even more wrong and i've got really late into some projects but i'm still ho hopeful that what's changed this time is the projects will be able to make it through winters and still be really good projects but also that maybe we're not in a bear market just yet but poke and poke pocket sorry network down ship down dash convex i mean look single digit losses though which is good so we're not seeing the big massive sell-offs at the moment so is it possible the bottom is in well, let's have a look here's the bitcoin chart so we've been going down, we've been going down, and look at this. It dipped right down into uh, that kind of zone that I was talking about. It got down to basically 33,000 almost perfectly. And we had, you know, 
quite a push up so what is promising about that and it was the same as this this doesn't mean it can last but it shows there was a lot of buying pressure yeah they pushed it down quite far but it got bought straight back up so that's what i'm seeing here it got pushed right down to thirty-three thousand, basically flat and it just got bought right up and now we're just trading sideways but again what worries me is this it's just going to be a bit more of this before we go down a bit more of this before we go down a bit more of this before we go down that's going to be the ultimate question what we will likely see even if we are in a bear market is a you know again what they not not so much a relief rally because a relief rally generally means the bottom's been found and then everything starts to rally back but we might see something that'll at least push it up to you know around sort of 42 ish thousand dollars i'd say something around here so you're going to have a chance to get out at some stage now will it happen here or does it happen down here i don't know exactly where it happens but there's usually a bit of a rally that pushes things back up so while you might be at a loss now you may be able to sell for less of a loss later and again never financial advice i'm not telling you what to do i'm just saying if you're worried the chances are we'll get some kind of relief rally that'll push it back up where if you're convinced that it's going lower you'll be able to sell so i.e you know you bought in here oh no it's all done for and then you get this all right once you see it starting to go up and it's not just going to be one or two candles like this we should get a fairly good rally at some stage start to sell into that if you think it's done for and you want to cut your losses and all the rest of it or on the other hand if you believe it's a good time to buy then start to buy so we'll talk about the buying as i said i've been setting in you know buy orders just above these green lines and they have all basically been filled which is nice not all basically they have been filled i did have a buy order in i almost bought the bottom perfectly so it was thirty three thousand three hundred and something dollars i bought it on blockfi though and they charge a bit of a premium so i think i bought for thirty four thousand one hundred and one dollars some bitcoin and when i say some i don't mean like multiples of bitcoin i mean a small fraction of a bitcoin but that was pretty good and so now again now i'm really looking for somewhere around about here my next buy order i'd be looking at around about thirty two thousand my next buy order is going to be just above sort of thirty thousand and then my next buy order is going to be here at twenty sort of eight point let's just say twenty eight thousand seven hundred thereabouts and that's what i'll keep doing ladies and gentlemen i said this the other day i'll just keep going down and trying to look for areas right here's another one around about here like i said say twenty four thousand seven hundred i'm going to go twenty uh four thousand sort of eight hundred ish thereabouts and i'll just keep laying them in until we find the bottom uh, the problem is i don't know where the bottom is nobody does all right now what i want to show you is what i'm talking about these you know sort of relief rallies i guess that's the best word for them they do come here is bitcoin back in 2017 now we had these dips that just kept going down but then you got these relief rallies that pushed up then it came back down then it pushed up this is if you think it's going lower we're in a bear market and it is going lower wait for relief rallies you get a couple of days in a row where it goes up that's your time to get out hopefully you're getting out at a profit and not getting out at a loss but if you're getting out at a loss hopefully it's less of a loss than where you currently are so you will see things like this again never financial advice i'm not telling you what to do i'm just saying this was the peak and then it dumped off you had a rally oh dumped off missed it all right you got another rally oh no nah, dumped off missed it all right you got another rally they generally won't last too long but sometimes they can like this one it got down to what was it six thousand dollars and that's still a long way from twenty thousand but if you bought at twenty thousand you had a chance to sell all the way back up to around about ten thousand and then again wait for something like this those kind of capitulation lows that kind of happen and again so what was that again three thousand sort of two hundred so just something to keep in mind it, it's hard uh and you know if you bought at the top it 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 is even more hard if you and you don't have to bought it bought at the exact top you know if you bought somewhere around about here thinking it was going higher it takes a really strong-willed person to be able to just constantly hold through this let alone continue to buy it when you could have sold maybe about here so eleven thousand, and then you know if you're good enough maybe let's just say you know bought back in at about sort of three and a half thousand or four thousand dollars but again 
you've got to do you, you've got to work out, but there will be relief rallies coming at some stage. There always is. So if you want to get out and, you know, take some profits, if you're not taking them now or sort of, you know, not have your losses as bad, relief rallies will come. The only problem is we might be here right now and you might have to wait sort of to get down here for the relief rally to just simply get back to here. So it's not like it's an easy thing and you go, right, oh, well, there's going to be a relief rally that's going to come and save me of three quarters of where we are now. No, unfortunately, you may have to come all the way down here to simply try and get back to here. And this is you being able to pick it as well. So scary thoughts. Let's have a look at Ethereum. How's Ethereum doing? Now, what I find interesting is they've been pushed down and you know they're getting bought up. And the same with Bitcoin, like I said. Sorry, wrong Bitcoin chart. Look, that wick came down and it just got bought up fairly aggressively, but we've seen this before, so it doesn't automatically mean things have changed. But Ethereum, again, it wicked down to, a God, what was that? Basically 2160 dollars got bought right up, but we can see it's already started to pull back a little bit from there. So it doesn't mean we're out of the woods just yet, but again... Start looking at buy orders. If you you know if you believe in the space long term, you want to buy at discounts, you are still buying at discounts. I just don't know if it's the best discount. And like I said, I've set in buy orders for Ethereum and Bitcoin for a fair way down, basically until uh, the old all-time highs back in 2017. But look, if they continue to go lower up from that, I will start to put in more buy orders. But just ever so slightly, just chipping away at it, chipping away at it. I don't want to be left with no cash. All right, total market cap. Like I said, I thought, you know, we might be able to hold around here, but we could push down to as low as 1.34 trillion-ish. So this is the mark, and you can see we're not too far off there. And again, we saw the wick. It pushed all the way down, but it was fairly aggressively bought. But we have seen it before. The wicks don't necessarily tell you everything, but it does tell you that things are being bought, but they might be simply being bought just for a quick little pump of, you know, 10, 15% and then being sold again. Something to consider. There's still leverage and really the bottom's probably not going to be found until everyone's just trying to go short. And they're going, this market's going lower, lower, lower. And that's when you'll start to see it push up. But again, that may just be a relief rally, something that only gets pushed up so far and then they do continue to dump it. Hence why I'm not a fan of leverage, but we are starting to get close to where I think we might find a bottom of 1.3 trillion total crypto market cap. Remembering that, I think we could get down to here. Not so sure, but we're on our way. Now, this is where I'm starting to get a little hope. So the S&P 500, look at that. It pushed down to my target and it got bought up super aggressively. That doesn't mean it can't go down go down but look when you usually see these wicks that push down and they get aggressively bought up it's usually an indication of some upside not always but usually and that is one hell of a wick that went down and look at it it just got pushed up straight away got down to that four thousand two hundred dollar mark where i was looking at and i thought it could go just a little bit lower but also, look, in my kind of golden pocket area, that's not to say that this is the best area. This is just where I thought it would find support because it's bounced around here quite a few times. And now we've only got really three times to bounce around here and then we've definitely got some more. But this, where it bounces around a few times, more than once, I say, you know, none of this came up so high and you just had this one bounce. That's a place where you might find support, but you're more likely to find support where you got multiple bounces, both uh, resistance and support. And look where it is, looking very nice at the moment. So again, aggressively bought up. Doesn't mean that it's over. It just looks good. Let's have a look at the uh, Dow Jones. Similar kind of thing. Look at this. It pushed all the way down to here. Touch point, touch point, touch point or you know, almost a touch point. So again, this is the areas where you want to look for. But again, it got aggressively bought up to where? Multiple touch points, touch points, touch points, touch points, touch points. And the next one would be really down here, where again, it can still go down to here. And look, ladies and gentlemen, it could go down to these other ones as well. But you're just seeing multiple touch points here of both resistance and support. Hence why this is where it's rebounded to. So I am hopeful that maybe a bottom is in. No guarantees in life, but it's looking nice there. Let's go to the NASDAQ. Something similar again. It got down to here 
and it's only you know you can say there's almost a touch point there but look at the wick it got pushed all the way down and then aggressively brought back up ladies and gentlemen so this is what keeps me somewhat hopeful that we might be close to a bottom doesn't mean it's the exact bottom again we could have other daily candles that still come down to here and maybe even a slight wick past here but i just get the feeling like people have decided and look where this is now touch point touch point touch point so this might be the support area the asx again got pushed down touch point touch point touch point touch point Touch point, touch point, touch point, touch point, touch point. So you got all these multiple touch points of where the markets currently are. Doesn't mean it can't go lower, absolutely can, but that is why I am feeling a little bit more confident that we might be close to a bottom. If we haven't quite found it, I'm hopeful that we are thereabouts. But again, I wouldn't go deploying crazy amounts of cash at anything in the moment, in case that's just not the case. We have a lot lower to go, which is a possibility. All right. Gold and silver sector, same thing, had a sell-off, but look, it's got multiple touch points through here. Gold and sector, look, touch point, basic touch point, touch point, touch point, and so on and so on. So a lot of the markets, and the same kind of thing, look at that wick, it got pushed way down and then just aggressively brought back up. Again, when you see wicks like this, and again like that, it usually means some upside. Now, does that mean a relief rally, though? Maybe. So if you're worried and you're freaking out and it's time to get out, maybe we got some relief rallies coming. Definitely possible. Last but not least, the Dixie. This is very interesting. The dollar's actually been growing in value basically since the start of the year. Around sort of the 4th, 5th of January, it's been slowly growing in dominance. Now, again, this is always going to be short-lived. You can have periods where the dollar does really well, really well. It could last months. It might even last a year or so. But eventually it rolls over because what we need to do is again try and remember where it's come from so we're not even as high as levels that we've been we're not as low as as other levels that we've been but i want to what i want to do is remember this red line this is where we're at right now historic kind of levels we've got a lot of touch points through here but look going all the way back to 86 we're down and that's what the dollar's been doing. It's been losing value over time. Does it have periods where it goes up? Yep, and then it'll go down. And then it'll go up, and then it'll go down. And then it'll go up, and then it'll go down. Then it'll go up, then it'll go down. And look at this. Then you have a big period. So basically uh, 1995 all the way to 2002, dollar was doing all right, was growing. And then look what happened. bit of a pump and then kind of leveled off and this is so this is what the dollar is doing does it have periods where it grows yes and then it has periods where it dives but it has been losing value for a long long time and now with inflation and everything else that's going on that's just another thing that you basically need to keep in mind but for this year the dollar has been growing and so the dollar could grow in value it might even go for sort of a couple of years but inflation the printing, you know, quantitative easing, that is not going away. They simply cannot stop printing the dollar forever. It doesn't work like that. That's why I'm in cryptocurrencies. All right, last but not least, just a story I wanted to bring you. So Ethereum Foundation kills Ethereum 2.0. So they haven't killed Ethereum 2.0, the, um, the upgrade. They're just rebranding it. So now ETH 2.0 is going to be called the Consensus Layer, and that is the rebranded name. And the reason they did that is because the reband reband rebrand god sorry rebrand reflects the fact that what's being called ethereum 2.0 is really more of a network upgrade than a whole new network so just something sort of interesting i thought i'd let you know that you know if you start to see things and ethereum 2.0 no more and all the rest of it it's just the name they've rebranded it to consensus layer all right ladies and gentlemen i guess we're really waiting to see you know is the bottom in and if the bottom's in, is it just the bottom is in for a relief rally before we get even further downside? Or is the bottom truly in? And again, if you're scared and you need to get out, look for a relief rally. They're most, you know, it'll most likely come. I just don't know if it's coming now or later or where and whether now would be a better time to sell if you want to sell before the relief rally comes. For me, I've been in this game for a while. I just... 
of buying. And look, the coins that are down for me and may never make it back again, then so be it. That's just the way it is. I don't know which ones they are yet. Time will tell. But the ones that have done well for me have more than you know made up for my losses. And so that's the way it is. It's a bit of a game. You got to do your research and hope that you're right. And you know, like Bitcoin, uh, I really believe in Bitcoin. Uh, it's done well for me. I really believe in Ethereum. It's done well for me. I really believe in Matic. It's done well for me, but it's still a little bit too new. It has been out since 2000 and I think 18-ish thereabouts. Uh, what's the other one? Chainlink, been around, uh, done pretty well for me. Not as good as what it's done previously, but that's all right. So you just got to find those projects. Super volatile, yes, to the upside and super volatile to the downside. But they have stood the test of time. And so they are probably pretty good ones to, you know, put more of your money into than other speculative ones. The speculative ones are where you're going to make the bigger money. Absolutely. But they've probably been around for five seconds and you don't know where they're going to be in five years time. Because again, I've said this before, a number of the coins that did really well back in 2017 are just nowhere this time around. And if we are now going into a bear market, then, you know, can they ever really recover? Maybe not. And don't get me wrong, they may you may still be up in them depending on when you bought. But if you bought at the peaks of those, like NEO has not made it back to anywhere near its old all time high, so that hasn't done so well. Dash has never got back to I think it was worth a thousand bucks or was that Monero or something. So a number of these coins they have their moment in the in the sun as they say, and you really want to be making sure you're taking those profits. And, you know, either putting them into stable coins, diversifying, you know, out of cryptocurrencies or putting them into Bitcoin. Altcoins, they come and go very, very quickly and you won't know if they're good or not until five years later. And if you put too much money into one and then all of a sudden you find out that it's not one of the ones that's going to hang around, then it can really, really hurt. All right, that's it from me, ladies and gentlemen. Stay safe. Be kind to one another. There were some small gains there to be made. And again, if you need to get out, look for rallies to get out. Not, it's not financial advice. you just got to do what's right by you. Me, I'm going to continue to buy the dip, just chipping away at Ethereum and Bitcoin until wherever the bottom is. And when I do find a bottom, that's when I'll start to look at altcoins. But again, some altcoins, I will throw a few dollars here and there, but really it's tiny, tiny amounts. Ethereum and Bitcoin is where my focus is. Stay safe and I'll see you next time.